Clicked on mute. <laughs> Stinking thing. How's it going this morning, y'all? Good to have you here. Good to see everyone. The few people who are here. Uh, glad to be hopping back into some more Subnautica today. Uh, this will be my first stream after I actually started advertising this, putting it out there for people to actually realize, hey, this is a thing. Not that it's a big thing yet, but I'm working on it. But yeah, for the first few streams, it had just been me practicing it, getting a feel for it, seeing how it was, getting a schedule figured out, that sort of thing. And now that I do, starting to get out there more, starting to get ready for more of this. Let's hop. I got the sea moth last time, and this time I want to explore around a bit more and figure out where I want to build a base, because I'm really not sure yet. But this will be really good to have. Yep, I'm going to build a base. Give me one second here. One second to do one little thing. There we go. Oh look, it just had to put itself back together real quick there. Nice game design. Alright. Uh, first things first, need some food and some water. It is... Being a little bit low of it. Give me that cooked peeper. And that water that somehow can be made from a fist. Right, what do I have? I have some stuff. Uh, yeah, alright. What was I gonna do this time? I don't think there was anything I'm planning on. Except for the. But that's. Not going to be yet. I need to figure out where I want to build it. Oh, do you not know it yet, Duke? I'm gaming. Dukes in gaming. I'm just gonna call you Duke. That's how I always call you. Snooze that notification. Don't wanna forget that. But yeah, this is a this is a great game. One of my favorites for sure. Let's see. Actually, why am I going around like this? I could go around. Alright, we got the cave system over there, we got... Where's the Aurora? I've heard of the Sky, but I don't know much about it. The Aurora over there... Where would be a good place to build a base? I know where I did last time, I just don't know if I want to build it in that same area again. But that is a priority for the t today. I'll at least figure out where I want to build a base. Last time I had it, like in this area right here i'm right along here is where i had the base the first time i played this game again i never beat the game but this is where i had my base i could do it there again but maybe a little bit further out in this direction it's kind of what i'm thinking maybe possibly perhaps i don't know Oh, more records. You got anything good in that records? Passing 100 oxygen efficiency decreased. I already have the scanner room fragments that I need. Bioreactor. I'll take a check. One of the nice things about the CMO that we have is that water for long it has oxygen. I don't have to worry about resurfacing every time, I just have to get back to it. Far more convenient for me. Put the flashlight on, please. You just have to side wait until it actually gets to what you want. It's really nice. Hmm. Yes. Chatting is good. I like it when you guys chat as well. Oh yeah, I remember this cave. Wait, I want that. Oh, we got, got quartz. I got things I don't want to touch. I don't even know what these are. Decoration. 
Oh, it goes deep. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Mmm, my internet's buffering too, so it's not, it's probably not entirely your end. It's probably at least partially mine. Oh wait, there was, there's, oh. I want to check that, but I want to get. I get a few more out toppings. I mean, my internet isn't the best either. It's upgraded from what it used to be a long while ago, but it's still not good. Oh, we got things here. What do you got for me? Ultra Glide thing. And what is this? Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous to radiate. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Passenger sounds a little bit rude. A little bit. Scan our room. I mean, that's in the life pod. I mean, that's in a base as well. I still can't do that yet. Did, did I not ask you to snooze for four hours? Maybe I did it wrong. Rest in peace. Just gonna get all those random things marked as red so I can be like, okay, yes, I know how to make these now. I know about these things now. You can calm down with the numbers up there. Oh, yes, what does it take? Lithium. Lithium is gonna be the hardest. doable. Right. What if we made the base like right around in this area? Maybe. Oh yes. You guys want to see a real biome? Actually, I might build my base here, because I've always liked this Go up there, but I always like this file. Pretty soon there are some blueprints in the area that I do want to just... In this area is dominated by plant life. All Terra vehicle signatures. I'll be there. I think this is where I want to make my base, like right in this area, in between a few decent buffs. Kind of out things like a uh, kelp, but. Uh, Zergi, there are still some parts that are pretty dark even in the day. We just haven't been there yet. I want to 
a creature egg. There's something. Modification station fragment. That's something I will want. Oh, hey, there's lithium. I thought lithium was going to be a problem, so much for that. Oh, yeah, coral reef is another whole thing entirely. You need so in this game. That's a lot of copper. Just can't do anything with it yet. Thirty seconds. Seek fluid intake. Oh yeah, I go. Yeah, that'd be fun. I think I want to build my base right in this area. Do I have the titanium for that? I have some titanium. I think I think I want to go get a very specific thing in a very specific place which requires a little bit more exploration and then I'll start working on a base over here. We'll take quite a minute, but Hey Zeriki would you please do me a favor because my operate on? Yeah, you can always be bold to do crazy things in a game. Oh yes, I was waiting, I didn't say what it was yet, I was waiting to make sure you heard me first. Would you please send me a message on Discord for later to remind me that it's Kat's birthday today? Because my notification for that keeps on going off and I'm not up to do anything about that yet. I do have some water on hand. I'm gonna go get some platter fish first though. Again. Nothing I care about. Platter fish. I'll take a peeper as well. Oop. Oop. I'm working on it. Hello. Discovered. Hello, Gary. Gary the Oh, hello! Sa Saffy Taffy. Glad to have you on the stream. No, I won't be hydrated. In, in real life, or in the game. Stay hydrated, folks. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like that. I'm gonna eat two, don't worry. All nighters, huh? Synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survive this way for millennia. You can too. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go.
1 a.m. is usually around the time I go to bed. Dark. Is it night? It's night. Where did my sea mark go off to? There, I'm just blind. Alright, time for one of my least favorite biomes in the entire game. Actually, there are quite a few of those. Well, <laughs> Alright, here we go. I have never pulled an all-nighter. I would prefer to not do so. You hope it'll be your first successful all-nighter? Is there a specific reason you're wanting to do it, or you're just wanting to do it because to have done it? Yeah. Down into the scary abyss we go. Mm. It's cool, but I also don't like it down here, especially how deep it is. It makes it hard on the sea moth. Just doing it to do it, huh? Oh, oh, this is one of the reasons I hate this area. You have to watch out before, so you don't go too low. Uh, Conditions in this port are microcosmic. I force detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. I don't. I don't like this area. Oh, like this area. Uh, yeah. Okay, stop, stop. I don't like going down this far. Oh, I'm too far. I'm too far. I'm too far, I'm too far down. I'm too far down. Do not. I should not even be aiming this. You're in yours, thing. Yeah, some people are night owls. Some people aren't. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damaged. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, gotta help with the grammar. Well, you don't have to, but it's grammar. So. Take for a rebreather again? Do I have the ability to that even? Or bladder. There's a rebreather. There's oxygen with diving. I think I'm going to head out of this place and go get one of those because, uh... I can't go that deep with this sea moth without risking it getting crushed. And I would much rather not have a thing I just put in a lot of hard work getting destroyed. Like a graceful dolphin. Oh! I feel like, I believe, I a guest appearance wanting to make join. Esther? Esther? Yeah? Hello? Hello? Oh. Here we go. Here's the kitty. So you want it in. And now she has to say hello. Say hello to Esther. Yeah. 
like uh, Safi. The best description I've heard of it is survival horror game. And yes, this kitty is very cute. Cute kitty, did you want to say hello again? Did my kitty need a hug? Yes. Yeah, kitty hug. Yes. Yes. My oh. phrase is key. I guess he just needed some attention. <laughs> Don't die from the cuteness. She is very cute. But you must live. Live to enjoy the cuteness. Oh, sorry, Peeper. I killed you, didn't I? Sorry. Might as well make use of that. You have more lives than a cat. I want you. Thank you. Okay, let's start by getting a little bit more food and water. Yeah, I like birds. I like cats, dogs as pets, but, like, birds are awesome. What do I need for a rebirth again? Wiring campfire. So I have what I need for that. I need one more piece of help for a fiber mess. Snakes creep me out, but that's because of nightmares I had when I was younger and specific things. I don't mind pictures of spiders when they're up close, like really close pictures of spiders. Like spiders, otherwise. <laughs> oh, also, I just that now that the kitty's moved, so did I. He's still down here, though. Hanging out, keeping company, being a sweet. Wait, I need out of here. Silver. Wiring kit, mess, and rebreather. There we go. My internet is still having difficulty. There we go. Not want to switch containers for a minute there. Snakes do have pretty patterns, I will give you that, for sure. Where am I going again? Right back this way. Hello there. Saffy Taffy, thank you for the follow. Stream. I think it's my end, I'm draw. I, I think it's everything. I think it's my end, and the, it, everyone ha is having rough internet. <laughs> so that's fun. We don't have I have the best internet ever. It's the upload. I have great download speed. Upload is not very good, so I had to tone that down a lot. And it's just stuttering back and forth between being okay and being bad. So. 
Okay, back down into the scary deep dark deep down we go. I do like the lighting when you transition biomes. But Yeah, I don't like this biome. Uh, uh they're so creepy. There's something. Nice. Do I have any of this? I think I have all of that. By default. Uh, they are not underwater leeches. Crabs. I don't remember what they're called, but they're. Ooh, diamond. <laughs> oh, you hus. You hus. I'm trying to survive here. You're like, oh, you found diamond. We're gonna charge you for that. a lot of fluorescent stuff in this game. Bioluminescent creatures and whatnot. Oh, I know what track this is. We're playing this track. I just read this thing in. Yeah, yeah, I'm headed back to my Seamoth. Okay, okay. Now we're in danger. Oh. Can I? Can I please? Can I please? Unload. No. Ah, I'm literally dead. I can't get back fast enough. I'm dead. That's all there is to it. Not what I wanted. Okay, I died and I left. I'm surprised they even have that still. Not, not surprised. Now again, back this way. I need a new battery first. That's what I was trying to do, but failed to do. Death, Zergi. Death is what's up. Back to that place we go. Deadified indeed, sir. Deadified indeed. Unalive, deadification, demonetized. <laughs> Am I gonna have to adjust the Bit right again. All right, Duke. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Good to see you here. That a good one.
I'm thinking I'm going to uh, adjust that bit rate just a little bit real quick because it's still causing some serious issues. How about that now? Is that better? Maybe? Maybe not? Yes, no, maybe so? Hopefully. I just need more stable internet. That would be great. Maybe at some point I'll move nearer to the router or get an extra router or something like that. Okay, back into the creepy mess we go. One guy who I saw play this game tried bringing his all the way down here and ended up getting it stuck because of how deep it was and he was just going along the the ceiling of the cave and got it stuck to the point where he could get it back out because it was just too deep uh, please no no, 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 you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it, you don't want to, thank you. That's kind of a snake, it's a uh, crab snake I think is what it's called, I don't remember. brain coral things down here. I already need to head back and I don't even know if I can get back in, the, in time. I'll try and scan one if I can, as long as I don't die here. Working on it. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're good. We're good. <sighs> mm, it was a peeper. Is what it's called. And they have very, very large eyeballs. I think that before I make a base, before I explore this place more, there's somewhere else that I'm going to need to go that is a place that I do not want to go yet. At all. Because I can't actually... I don't know how I made it down there originally, but... I'm not making it down there now. I can't take this deep enough without suffocating. I mean, without it breaking. Okay, no, do that. Without it breaking from being too deep, or without me being too far from to actually have oxygen. I think I'm gonna have to go to the Aurora. I did not want to go to the Aurora anytime soon. And you will see why. I'm not looking forward to this. I was hoping to delay that for as long as possible. 
I'm going to have to go to the Aurora. All right, cool. Oh yeah, I got another message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be when we find it. Sunbeam out. That was nice of them to say. Try and give a little bit of encouragement. Be like, hey, having a hard time is gonna get. Help and seaweed are very, very similar. I honestly don't know if they're the same or different at all. Just want to make sure I have enough inventory space because get a lot of stuff on the sunbeam. Not the sunbeam. The Aurora. I want to have food. I have these. That'll be. Yeah. Maybe get a peeper and some salt so I can make a cured peeper. I also want some bladder fish so I can make water. A lot more water. Where's some salt? Here's some salt. Salty boy. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. Is your life a lie now that you know that kelp is a brown seaweed? You're right, it doesn't look brown in Minecraft. It's green. Meaning that it's wrong to call it kelp, I guess. And that's okay, Zergi. I appreciate you coming by. It was glad good to hang out with you, and I was glad to have you, Watson. I hope you have a good time at your grandmother's. You'll get to watch the part that I was scared of when you get back, so you will get to see me react to things that are good. Hello, I don't want you. Thank you, though. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm well stocked before I head that way. Hey, Gary. You enjoyed the. You do Watson, I'd love to hear your reactions on Discord when you are watching it. Have a good one. Alright. Thank you very much, Sergey. Have a good one. Thanks for coming by and hanging out.
I guess I'm pretty much fully geared. Time to head off to the one place I do not want to go yet. I'm already getting nervous. Oh look, it's an eclipse. I don't know if that's a good sign in this case. Anyway... <laughs> yeah, I need those special glasses. And I also do not want to damage this at all. I don't like that I have to go there already. The biome right by the the Aurora, which is the crest, sit there. Has one of the most dangerous creatures of the entire game. Oh, there's a chance of blindness. It could still get you. It's still bright enough for it. I think. Which direction am I heading? Which direction do I need to be heading? Uh, uh, strong dislike. Strong dislike. Hello this uh, okay that's just the that's just that mm -hmm. that's fine that's friendly those are friendly uh, okay okay Are we safe for the time being? Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. No, 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 no. No, no. No. It was in the distance, but it was there, and I saw it, and I don't want anything to. And I heard it too. I can see it swimming over there. I can see it swimming this way. Ah, it's creepy. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with that. They mostly stick to their own areas, but also, they're incredibly territorial. That's, that's, a, that's a nice thing to have.
thing is the direction that creature was is the direction that I need to go. Also no, it's not the only creature in this area. I'm scared. I'm going to have to try and sneak past it is what I'm going to do. There is no facing it. There is no facing it. Oh, it's right there. Hello. Uh, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> I don't like this area at all. Oh, 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 boy. I still hear it and it's angry. I don't know where the way up is. I'm so disoriented right now. I don't like the music either. I said I don't like the music. No, the, the thing is, I'm in the area I need to be. Structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. It's a matter of how do I get on the thing. There's a specific area where I can actually get on to this. That big abandoned sip looking thing. Uh, this is what I crashed on. I am the base is a life pod that was ejected from this. And hey, we saw it explicit the quantum core overloaded. And now it's leaking radiation, and I have to get onto it and fix it. It's a matter of where is the area that allows me to get onto it, because I know that there is one. Wait, is this it? This is it! This is it right here. Sure. Oh, it exploded. It exploded. For sure. That there. Is 
Ich bin dann live. I don't have a laser cutter my computer was talking about, but I have other I have other things that are good. I might have to come back here and explore this again at some point, but for the time being, I can explore it at least a little bit. Stop it. No fighting. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, that's pleasant. Thank you for that valuable information. I can tell that they want to bite me. And they're doing so every chance that they get. You see, this is why I brought extra health packs with me. I don't know what these things... No, what are these things again? Hang on. Cave Crawler. That's what they're called. This seems stable. Now it's just perfect, perfectly stable. Don't question it. I mean, they're called cave crawlers, but yeah, this isn't a cave. that battery. Aurora systems Feel free to question it. Reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Interdict. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so. That's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. I think they got more than they bargained for after that. Like a swivel chair, sir. Ah, poor Albert. New 
Phase gate announced for the something ARM. Altera launches the Aurora. The fastest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand, as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship, carrying a phase gate bound for the something arm. The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of Altera, making hundreds of gates on different transgov authorities and arrive on the far side of the arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the SIP beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18 months later. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month constructive pro construction pro project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion credit investment. In the absence of existing infrastructure in the region, the vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altura Corp currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outmaneuvered a cable of Mongolian op corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure anything that existed or was alive or anything of the like is now gone. Integrating new PDA data. We are finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate. Send SIPs to mine resource expensive SIPs to all fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? And various codes, including a cargo bay code. That's good. Also, I want this poster. And a command sir. Credits, not enough. Credits, they're paying me. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. You kind of need the propulsion cannon to get in in the first place. But I'm pretty sure it is possible to make it without the propulsion cannon. I've seen it done before. Just gotta make some good jumps. Uh, one, four, five. Of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technology. Scary sounds. Hardcore parkour! Oh, wait. Yeah, I want this light. Give me that floodlight. One of the largest transgov profile, Altera Corp. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumers electronics in the Federation. The official supplier of the TSA, whatever that is, consistently ranked among the galaxy's best employers. Began life as a defense man of 22nd century. National motto, get what you deserve. Although most transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera, literally meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce, making the transistor to corporate state. Altera's threat to cease trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight, and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are bought out by the state, Owners ascending to the board of directors. Well known Altera technologies like the Cyclops Submersible originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no obligation to its employees voluntarily elects to take on the roles usually served by a democratically, democratically elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in Federation courts. Hey Def Gamer, welcome to the chat, good to see you here. 
enjoy the 10 minutes of stream you're able to catch. Is there anything over here that I want? Doesn't look like it. Diving in. I'm diving in. I'm deep. No, I don't want to be. Ah! Get off. No. It's her. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I am going to have to come back here. I need to have a laser cutter. You never made it onto the ship? How much of the game did you play, man? Aha! My inventory is full. Well, I have some food I'll eat then. Eat that. I'll use one of those. That, I'll drink Vital some water. Now give me that. I want it. This allows me to go deeper in my in my sea moth. Oh, you never... You did not play much of the game then, I take it. All excited about Subnautica, but definitely got nowhere near to finishing it. For some reason, I thought you had finished the game. Alright. VR Suite Log. Loading program. Desert Islands Rama. Size. Three players. Resources. Normal. Spawning players on beach. Player 1 has been lost away by an unusually high tide. Player 2 has traded a coconut with player 3, three for 10 credits. Player 3 has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. Player 3 has grown a coconut tree. Player 3 has eaten a coconut. Player 3 is no longer hungry. Player 3 has traded a coconut for player 2 with player 2 for 30 credits. Player 2 has eaten a coconut, but is still hungry. Player 2 has traded a coconut with player 2 in exchange for building a tent. Player 3 is sleeping inside their tent. Player 2 is cold. Night falls. A passing sip is offering trading. Player 2 has traded 30 more musket. Has been while sleeping. Player 2 wins. Player 2 has died from cold. Well, that escalated quick. <laughs> Player 1 is immediately dying as you. Nice. Yeah, I'll definitely be coming back here with both other and a pulsing camera. For the time being, I have the main thing I need, but there's something else I still need to do in here. Pops ends in efficiency. At maximum tolerable level. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Well, let's fix that then. Breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach. Further detected. Get off me. Oh, hello, Allah Axed. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Portal vibes. See that? I can see that. It is indeed an alien leech. That is exactly what it is. Right there. 
Yes, you did. Good job, Safi. Would be helpful if I actually was the thing I needed to repair. Tailing breach repair. Further breaches detected. Five more. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Huh? Yeah, it's called a bleeder is what it is, but it is an alien leech. Preemptive strike. No! Yeah. I if Somatica can run weaker computers, it had worked on my old laptop for a while, but then it got to the point where it was just too laggy to actually be able to play it well. It's game though. Why wouldn't it look like a squid though? If it's an alien lease, why not look like a squid? Cracks like that whenever you get hurt, it just is a way to emphasize, hey, you're hurt. Wee. Up here. No. Nothing. Okay. Needle would also be a good design. Okay. What am I missing? Ah, two right here. Okay. Further breaches detected. One. Go. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. That's what I needed. I just head back out the way I came. There is more stuff to explore in here, a lot more stuff, but I can't get to it yet because it's all behind this door and I need a laser cutter to open this door and I don't have a laser to open this door. Feel free to step away and do whatever you need to, Safi. I plan on still streaming for a little while longer, so no worries. Oh, Cyclops, Ensign Fragment. Yes, please, I want that. Only one of many parts that's needed for it, but I still want it. I missed that the first time through. Unfortunately, going back out also means going past the thing that I want to avoid at all costs. So that's also fun. I got the Cyclops Death Depth module though, which is that I wanted from here. That, and the ability to not have to wear the radiation suit everything. Oh yes! If you, the, at some point you'll probably see why I hate it, because there's no way I get to avoid it the entire time, but I hope you don't get to see why I hate it anytime soon, because it's not good. You can't even fight stuff in this game. You really can't even fight stuff. Not really. Like, you can only avoid stuff until you get a few specific weapon, a few specific items, which aren't even weapons. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, uh... Mm -hmm. I'm just making a run for it. I'm making a run for it. Mm 
<laughs> Don't mind me, Reaper Leviathan. <laughs> Leviathan's one of the main reasons you quit. I don't blame you. <laughs> Yeah, I like Minecraft too. I, I plan on streaming Minecraft at some point, but there are so many people who stream it in the first place that I'm not going to do it anytime soon because I wouldn't get viewers for it. I kind of want to show you what the Reaper is without getting too, too close to it. But I also really don't, because it's too dark now, and it'll totally sneak up on me if I try that. So let's just not. Well, we just. See you, Deaf Gamer. Thanks for stay uh, hopping by. Glad to have you. I'll show you in a bit, Safi. There is some stuff I at least need to make first, but you will see. Actually, is it? Bright? Is the sun out now? I guess it is. Oh! Hello! Hello, Reefy. Sorry, I didn't expect to see you there. Let me let the sun come up a little bit more. So... I don't go over there when it's too dark for me to really see it coming. Oh, it's a reef back. This thing is basically this the, uh, game's version of a whale. It's just a giant armless creature that looks really cool. really cool. It's a turtle squid whale thing. You can. I mean like I don't know well, I don't know if I can like this. But yep, yep, you can. Oh yeah. Evil plant. Don't like the plant. But yeah, I'm just... I'm just riding a reef back now. Where do I see Bob go? It's over there! Hey, Esther! Yeah, basically is. Also, it's dark. I guess the sun will. So I will show you what I'm scared of when it's bright out. I'm gonna be heading back to that area anyway in this stream because my first step is to go back to that cave, get grade this, which I realize I can just do right now. There we go. Now it can go deep. So the first thing I want to do, and that's an accidentally AFKing on that thing and going miles from home. I feel like you might accidentally fall off at some point, but yeah, that could also end up happening. Reaper Leviathan, yeah. Not good. It's a very not good. Oh, I have a message. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that the alternatives. Yeah. Yeah. We've sent you the coordinates. Okay. It'll take days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Ah, the sunbeam's on the way. I keep on getting interrupted with stuff. Oh, it kills. Like, it grabs the sea moth. And it can crush it doesn't necessarily, but it can. So, I keep on getting distracted by other things going on, and now I have to go to a place to meet the sunbeam. Where is that? There it is. A few minutes. I want to know what it takes to build a couple of things. Because I, can't, I can't make the laser cutter yet, but I can make the propulsion cannon. I just need a bit of silver. Sunbeam is the spaceship that is wanting to come and rescue me.
Now I have a propulsion cannon. Which is a nice thing to have. But I still need a laser cutter. Uh, because they need to land. It's just water. They can't come directly to me. Let's see how this thing works. Blasted something, didn't even need to. What about here? Here, come here. Whoosh. Yes. It also allows me to just bring stuff close to me so I can actually pick This is a nice thing. It's actually very handy for... Yeah, it basically is a gravity gun. It's very handy for dealing with uh, the crab crawlers that were on the ship. Let's see. It's getting light again. I'm going to head back to the ship. No, no, you can't. You can't. You cannot suit it away. It's not... It, it's too big for that. There are only a few things that affect the Reaper and similar creatures, and I don't have any of those things right now. Actually, the place we're heading has a Reaper right by it, so we're going to head there. After I offload some stuff. Inventory is seriously full. I'm not going to comment on it. I'm going to make another floating locker, which is not the best option, but it's what I can do. I mean, if I die, I just respawn. their stuff. That's pretty good. To the landing site. Let's go to the landing site. So the first time I played this game a little bit, it is really pretty water, yeah. The first time I played this game a bit, well, I never beat this game. I got like halfway through. But, I not involved when I got distracted and was not there at the time. So I actually get to see what happens directly. Look, I have land for the first time in this game. Yeah, the best, the most apt description of this game is an accidental horror game. Like, this game is great. If you're scared of water, or things under the water, you don't want this game. Oh look! Look at this creature! Hello! Hello! Are you angry at me yet? I don't know where it went. I can hear the creature that I want to avoid. 
it, I just can't see it. Oh, it's much deeper down. Nuclear reactor fragment, that'll be cool when I do build it. Welcome aboard, Captain. What you doing, Esther? Well, there's a sand... It's not a sand salt, but it's... Bone Sark, that's right. want a bulbu tree seed. Plants in this game are one of the best food sources and they are renewable and they are fantastic. Oh. I did stab a tree. Bye! It's not bleeding. Trees don't bleed. It would seem that's his plan. This device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is route via the terminal to the nearby field. A technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. I mean. Trees do have sap, but they don't bleed. And plants are trees too. I mean, trees are plants too. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol that resembles a U, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power fun still functioning, algae grown on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Nice little path they have here. Ah, there's a tablet. They do look strange. I've heard they're good though. Ah, nope. I don't want to deal with any of y'all. in here. It probably kills him. I really don't know. Ah. 
the way. Lithium. Gold. Lithium on the walls. Aha! Big fancy thing. This structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function. Ceremonial or religious role. Industrial applications. Advanced transportation network. Assessment. Further research required. I need an ion cube to power it, I don't have. Well, that's a nice dead end. Oh, there's the creature that I don't want. Hello. You can see it pretty well right there. But let's 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 do bye, buddy boy. Bye. Nothing here, no no human food here. The Reaper. Oh hello. Hello. They're not mad at me. It's mad at me. It's mad at me. Uh, he's, he's a big boy. He's a big evil eel. This is not something that we want to mess around with. Not until we have gear that keeps us safe around it. Cyclops fragment. Now I can make the Cyclops Enzyme, but I still need the the rest of the whole thing. Step one, draw the owl. Step two, draw the rest of the owl. Step one, make the engine. Step two, make the rest of the thing. Uh... It has appendages on its face. It doesn't wrap you. It has dual claw things on either side of its face that wrap around the sea moth and squeeze. It also kills you in one hit if you're not in it. And it kills the sea moth in two. If the sea moth is at full health first. Yeah, and it roars. You haven't heard it roar. I don't want to hear it roar. Take the fancy purple tablet. Indicate.
feature is alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. I mean, you can look it up on YouTube too. Although it is a very good game. You'll probably hear. Yeah, search for a video. You'll probably hear it at some point. If you watch the streams, you probably will hear it at some point. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data, pat data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed th this technology evolved, were genetically selected, sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment. Further research required. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Go check on those messages. You might at uh, my one place, you might want to turn in twenty before to past. Ooh, big fan. I'll take another one, thank you very much. Unknown language. Attempting translation. This data seems set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Constructs material. This unknown construct identified as an ultra-hard non-amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates that the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the, plants, the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not d detail the operation procedure or how installed security measures. Freaky elevator. Oh, this is the moon pool that I was just talking about. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in mind and form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed, the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they consider defending this facility a necessary but obvious way to remove the rifle from I want to see what's up there, but I'm going to check this way first. Ooh, it's another one of these fancy things. They're alien arts. Nice. Nice.
Oh, it's another purple tablet. Yes, please. Welcome back, Safi. You... I found another alien art. An alien rife play case. And this thing now. Alien device. Doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Let's just hope it doesn't accidentally malfunction to the point where it does explode. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Good thing I found uh, another purple tablet just a second ago. I'm not touching the thing. Energy core. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Control panel sting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Both scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to database. Alien facility locations. Intercept data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease Research Facility, depth 800 meters, cave system with extended record, southeast-west of enforcement platform, function, live specimen study, Ob sent up for high designated Ferrar. Thermal Power Facility, depth 1200 meters, I location, inside an extensive natural rock formation, in an area of intense volcanic activity, function, generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A, Data, cor Fluid data cor corrupted. Offsite laboratory. Data corrupted. Primary containment facility. Data corrupted. In the event of an out outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing to prevent the spread of infection off. Well, there is a vehicle that's going to be here in minutes and apparently I'm infected and there's a quarantine going on and I can't disable the thing I think you probably get where this is going I wonder what's gonna happen to the Sunbeam we're gonna watch the fireworks is what's gonna happen
weird floaty levitation elevator. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. I think it just looks cool personally, but Yeah, it is a cool elevator. more tree. After I scan it, I'm gonna scan it first. Probably most isn't that much risk of the box falling because since there isn't a box. Well there is risk of the levitation thing dis being disabled and you falling, so that sounds fun. Let me just mark that as red. That is red. And those. And that. Seek fluid intake immediately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Bobo tree. Yeah, it, it's not good. A bowl based floor which roots to the ground and sprouts turquoise leaves. Analysis suggests. No, blah, blah, blah. Analysis suggests the sap produced by this plant is poisonous to insects harvested and consumed by humans for its high water content. So it's bad for bugs, but good for man. And woman. So we go nom 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 nom. Vital signs stabilizing. Tasty. Like this is actually one of the best food sources in the entire game. down and we get some fall damage. Maybe die but you can respawn. <laughs> In the game, sir, if it was an actual thing then no respawn, but nine minutes until fireworks indeed. It's gonna go kaboom, kablam, kapow. I actually never saw this event except in the first time I played through, I got distracted and was too far away to actually see it. So this time I actually get to be on the island to watch it happen. This is probably a good vantage point. Oh, I'm not going to get distracted again. I have no intention of getting distracted again. Hmm. Look through these blue pen blueprint. I'm going to need to make a modification station. How do I make a modification station? Do I have what I need to make a modification station? I do not. Okay, so that's another thing. Um... So after this happens, I'm going to head back to the cave that we were at earlier. Now I seem I'll be able to actually go down deep enough that I can stay, have the oxygen, and find the stuff that's down there that I needed. And then I'm going to actually work on making a base. Because I need a base. Other than just the, yeah, the deep cave with the snake things and the mushrooms and all that. I need a base. My life pod's nice, but it does not have the storage I need. And you can make a lot of storage in the base and other things and... Yeah. That's the plan. Event. Cave. Base. That's what I got. Let's see here. 
Was there? Hmm. Already found. Yeah. Fireworks. I also haven't checked out this yet, I just remembered. Did I ever? I did. Yeah, that's another thing I need to do. Almost 3 a.m. Yeah, you're definitely out of the world. It's uh, almost 2 for me. P.M. To go and check out that as well. Hmm. This is the best viewpoint for it, but I just want to wander around a little bit because we still got five minutes and I don't feel like standing in one spot for five minutes. Where's the fun in that? Fact it, don't worry. Oh, hello, bird. You're flying close to the ground. Can I scan? Sky Ray, I want to scan you. I want to scan! I don't think it spawned in the ground, but it was flying along the ground. Ah! No. No. Bad. I hear dangerous things. That arrow cell? I didn't know I could find gel sacks here. I needed a gel sack for something that I don't have yet, but will be very helpful later. I didn't know that could be found here. The first time I play... Burb is nice. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, Burb is sunbeam because I cannot land a proof of this. Also, I legitimately had no idea I could get arrow gel here. I mean, the, the gel sack. The first time I played through this game, first time, first time I played this game, it took me forever to find gel sacks. I had to look it up and do a bunch of research and struggle to find it. I had no idea that they were here. This is... Hey. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh, tablet. With scary noises. No, no brain dying. No, that was a cable that's going to this thing. Is it going to be nighttime during the event? I've only ever seen it in the day. Well, that's where the sunbeam was planning on landing. <laughs> Night makes fireworks cooler. You're not wrong. Also glowy. It's neat. And big planet. What is this? Reverse Tatooine. Two moons instead of two suns. Bird, I want to scan. I want to scan. Let me scan. Let me scan. No. I. 
I'm gonna eat three. It does look nice at night, doesn't it? It was a sunbeam burb. And it went away. There are a lot of them around. Oh, there's another. I want to. Can I scan you? Can I scan you? Can I scan you. Yeah. But also, I need to get into the position because the sunbeam is almost here. Atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that up there? There. You, mean you can't identify. Hold on. There's no turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Oh, it's glitchy. Change course. Set thrusters to. Rest in peace. They tried to help. They wanted to help. They were going. They had no idea that that was going to happen. Oh no, that one just that one just went everywhere. That's just that's not a new crash site to visit. That's. I mean, there are, <laughs> but. It's not gonna be something like uh like the Aurora. Building my heart in your nightmares. I hope you get good sleep. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, so we're just gonna head back to base and then head into the thing and do the things, and we're gonna have a good time doing all the good things. Well, I hope sleep when you. If you don't sleep tonight, that's one thing. But I hope you do get good sleep when you do sleep. I mean, you're making good progress. Oh, I saw the flashing lights of uh, wreckage down here. Hang on. Please leave me. Where was it? Where was it? world is still loading, but I saw sometimes when the world loads in, you'll get flights from electrical part of wreckage, and I saw some in this area, I just don't know where. Right here. Inside this thing? Yes, there is, but I need a laser cutter. Drat! Oh, wait, 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 wait! This is a. Here we go. I'll read that later. I'll take a scan. 
can of fence, I guess. Well, vehicle play fragment I've already gotten. Okay, so it actually doesn't have anything useful in it other than a fence and some lore. I don't need mobile vehicle faith fragments. I need modification station fragments. Why are these different? Oh. I noticed that the symbols were just slightly different and I was confused for a second. Okay, well, the Gassy Crew Man of Torgal. Auxiliary Search and Rescue Mission, Bart Torgal. Position, Vice President of Torgal Corporation. Status, Lost in Space near 4546. AIDS at Time of Disappearance, 19. The only legitimate child of Paul Torgal. Benefactory, Beneficiary of Enhanced Learning Techniques and Cerebral Implants. DG trained in advanced biology and cellular economics. Emissary Kassar reports Bart was accompanying his father to a newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve a five year term chief operating officer. Oh. First reference of the Degasi. First, let's deposit some stuff back here. Play partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designate mode. Hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. here. What are you doing all the way over here in the safe salad, Luffy? You're not supposed to be headed this way. Uh, that's not what the fireworks thing is. That was something else. Most likely, a warper, which is the purple thing that I would that would vanish at points. That I was like, "Are you angry?" Oh, yes, you are. I'm infected. to go back to the deep down, dark deep down that we can actually go to now because the Seamoth won't get crushed. So I don't have to worry as much about those things, although I still don't like them. big mushrooms and those uh, crab snake things live in the mushrooms 
they're in one that you go by, they like to pop out and grab at you. I kind of like one so I can actually remember what its name is, but I also don't want to get... Yes, they are mean grabbies. Aha! This is what I was looking for. That's a scary sound. Oh, background music. There aren't sirens in this game. That's just creepy background music. Stasis rifle fragment. I want this rifle. Stasis rifles are one of the only ways with being singer. Don't want to be touching those. I don't like the noises that thing is making. Yay. I'll read that later. Water filtration machine. Yeah, it is nice background music, but creepy. It's not the worst track in the game, though. There are others that are much worse. They scanned the multi purpose room, which is. Something I absolutely want for my base. There's a lot that I want for my base. I'm gonna go back out and get more oxygen from my Seamoth before I explore there. It's of Lars. The Reaper one. Uh, oh no, there, there. Hi. There is no specific music for any specific area, but there are specific tracks. Like uh, the Crass Zone is a track that's specifically for the Crass Zone, but also plays in other areas as well. You just attack my sea moth. Please, I would rather you not do such a thing. Observatory. There are others too. There's. I don't remember all of them. That as well. That, but I'm gonna read the first one first. Integrating new PDA data. Where am I? I've gone back there. I've not been over here. Double. No, they're, they're, they're this, not start this things. Wall planter. Keep an eye on my oxygen. Please do not be biting at my sea moth. See, oxygen tank. Yes, please. That's something. Uh, oh boy. I got hit by a stinger and it poisoned me for a few seconds and it was not comfortable. You know what, this whole place isn't comfortable. I'm getting out of here. Oh wait, no. More war first. How, uh... How damaged are you? Been being attacked. You have gotten attacked? You are hurting. Do I have a thermal plant? Now I have thermal plant preference. Power cell charger fragment. That's something I'm gonna want. Ah! Ah! Hi! Hi! Crab snake. 
Hi. <sighs> that didn't make me jump. Not at all. Not at all. Definitely didn't make me jump big time or anything. <sighs> okay, I'm able to make a... Stasis Rifle... I'm able to make a Power Cell Charger, that's a big thing that I really do want and need in this game. Do I have the ability to make that yet? I do have the ability to make that. Okay, now that I got... Uh, let's head on back out of here. I have everything I need from here. As far as I know. Actually, let's read that lore before I forget it. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble men into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. We know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without equipment, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivore, and coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Well, that's the first one. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits that their teeth get and they pick them up, it's narrowed and she turned out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. Ah. I asked her about it, but my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with the buckers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, or I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hmm. So he likes the creatures, doesn't want to hurt them, and wants to learn about them. I can appreciate that. Son, there is always a pecking order, and in our hierarchy, if I made it, I'll pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Mm. These conniving, corporate, bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. 
But I swear, everything mm -hmm. that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Luf dog. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters to hunt you. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. It wasn't deeper than the market. prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Hmm. Did I miss grow beds in here? It does look like I missed a PDA though. I'm gonna go back in for that. Road beds would be nice. I know a different location they're at, but soon I can't get those as well. see more though. Ah! No, no, no. Okay. Time for one of these. I don't think there are grow beds, although I do see spots. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. I don't know. That takes lithium. I have plenty of lithium back at home. Uh, I still don't have. What does this take? Aerozel. Does that take? That takes Ruby. Uh, I don't have Ruby yet. Can't make that yet. Um, I think I can make most of these. Or at least what I need. Um, stasis rifle. Okay, I. I have some magnetite back at base. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. I have magnetite back at base. Reactor rod. Oh, for nuclear reactors. Cool. I need ruby. Where do I get ruby? Hmm. Ruby is something I really want. I don't know where to get it. Other than just going deep. Calorie intake recommended. Signs stabilizing. Okay, the stasis rifle was also. Okay, I have everything I need for a stasis rifle, which is good. I don't have Ruby though, which is not good. If I had Ruby, that thing is easier, but. Deeper, deep places. I'm going to have Tuli at some point. Always take extra batteries. Welcome aboard, Captain. They sound aggressive. Reached. Hull oh. damage imminent. 
How about no? I just went in a circle, that's nice. I am going to have to go deeper anyway. Oh wait, yeah, I just, I totally forgot. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found on the scan. Something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. New creature discovered. That thing has one big eye. Lucy. Yes, Safi. Please leave me be. <laughs> yes, I found an eye eye, Captain. Head for the beacon, that's my best way to get out of here. I'm gonna need a lot of Ruby, but I don't remember where I get Ruby. I'm gonna have to look that up between streams. Okay, remember? Oh. Oh. Hello, Amber, thank you for following. Appreciate that. Good to have you here. Mm. But now that I have a multi-purpose room and a few other things, I'm going to go back to where I was previously and build a base. I am going to head there, but not yet. Or should I? Should I go ahead and head here, or should I work on building a base? What do y'all think? I have water on me right now. I'm gonna build a base. Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards. I think I'm going to build a base and then call it a day. Tell my blood sugar is getting a little bit low. So I'm gonna build a base and actually get storage now. I kind of need to actually be able to put stuff places instead of just. Floating in these tiny little lockers. Also, hello, Reefy. Just chilling. Just hanging out. Having a good time. I do want to make a stasis rifle, though. Does a computer chip take copper wire and cable? Chip? Okay. The reef back. Uh, where is the table? And then copper wire. I have copper. Copper of one of these. I have copper in here. I have copper in the base. And the light bulb. We need a bit of that. these and then 
stasis rifle. That truly huge. This is something I needed. It doesn't hurt. Stop him. If there are no actual weapons in this game, other than this knife. There are even the torpedoes that you get later on. No, there is there is one other thing, which I'm not gonna talk about yet, but it is a state it allows me to keep creatures from moving about. There are only two items, and there are items that, like, draw them in or stop them, but there are only two weapons. The simple little knife, there's actually a hot version of the knife, which I'll get lit before too long, that allows me to, like, cook food immediately as I, get, if I attack a fist, it immediately becomes cooked. Kind of like a Minecraft fire aspect, but... Other than that, there is one really good weapon that is a much later game thing. I should be able to get that for bleach. And you make bleach directly into water in this game. Salt for that though. Vital signs stabilizing. I need salt. There's some salt. I actually also need this, because I'm going to need a lot of titanium for the base. A lot. Make that fleet. And then immediately, immediately make it into some bleeds. Oh yeah, it's a ladder. You can get life pod as well. Water. H2O. Aqua. You can go up or down. Directions! What? Yeah, I need a lot of titanium. Five. Thankfully, titanium is pretty easy to come by. I'm just going to need a lot of it. Come aboard, Captain. I have... Okay. Um, what does... I need to check a couple things before I go mix stuff, just so I don't have to make too many trips. I need... How much copper do I have? One piece. I need more than one. What about that? 
Gold and table coral sample, okay. Actually, no, I probably will. Yeah. Lead that I don't need. Magnetite. Let's get some table coral. Where's the coral? I coral? There we go. That's a lot more than I needed, but okay. Quartz too. Works real quick. Where's some quartz? Well, no. no. Just think of this. I want you. Battery oh. died. Prefer a little bit more quartz before we get all the way up over there. Oxygen. Okay, okay. Oh. It's just a crate here with the first aid kit. I don't need a first aid kit right now, though. I also don't need this. need that many. Quartz. Quartz. Where is some quartz? There's some quartz. There we go. Is that enough for what I need? Okay. I have at least enough to get me started. back to the mushroom forest biome to make a nice little base on, in between that and these red grass plains. Like right in this area, I think. Yeah, the music, the soundtrack for this game, it does the design in Zenotastic. Give me B, please.
Seems like a pretty good place. Foundation first. Seems pretty good. And then let's have multi-purpose room. Middle of it. Close enough. Apparently we can't center it. Spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your, but never forget that it is not. I like the idea of putting it over here. Got hats as well, or we can't even get inside. Any more titanium already? Are you kidding me? Well, you get titanium from scanning things you already have, so there we go. 30 seconds. We can get inside now. But I do not have the power. I'm going to need more quartz and more copper and more, more quartz and more titanium for that. Does kind of look like a peace suitor. Plants versus zombies, right? There's some quartz. Ow! Stupid plant. Don't do that. That's not nice of you. I disapprove. Like plants versus zombies. Leave me alone. Wait, is that? Hang on. Hi. Nice. It does stop them. There's the laser cutter fragment I need. Okay, I still need one more, but still. Argus. I forgot about that. How did I forget about that? How the hey did I about that? I can't really explain it or it will spoil stuff. Other than telepathy. We're glad to have that's a world. Excuse me, game. I needed that. There's the last laser cutter fragment. I Ow. Now I'll be able to uh, go back to Aurora and get to where I couldn't before. So I'm not doing that right now, but that is something I will be able to do now. Oh, 
solar panel. There looks good. We have power. Welcome restored, Captain. All primary systems online. Not much power yet, it'll take some time to the charge, but we actually have power. It's so much Need more titanium again. Back out we go. Foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. I already knew I was infected. That's an egg. Do not need an egg. Fragments and things of that nature. There's some time. Something over there. Oh, this is a biome I don't want to be in right now, though. It's a cool one, but I don't want to go there yet. Oh, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to pass on that. Um, I'm dead. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, break the water, break the water. I'm dead. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well. Oh well. I don't think I lost too much. Yeah, I don't think I lost two months. I do need to head back to the life pod though, so I can get more stuff around there. There's not enough to be able to do what I need to do. I think. What does it take for another one? I need more quartz, but that's doable. What about... I can make that now. I need more titanium and more quartz. Currently comes down to that's copper, which is good, but not what I'm looking for right now. I never thought there would be a time where I'd be looking for titanium. Okay, that's something I can work with. I can work with those. Get a little bit more quartz though, please. There we go. That should do it. Back we go. 
I just hit myself with my own sea moth. Good job, me. A little bit more power. Or at least more power generation. These, and I need more titanium again! I'm actually gonna destruct. That, so I can, I'm gonna destruct that, construct the fight, get more titanium from the metal salvage that I have, and then I'll be able to construct the other solar panel. I'll probably move this at some point, but for the time being, I'm just gonna have it here so I can work with it. There we go. Uh, can I make a locker in there right now? What about, uh, what does that take? I can't make that. I do not have what it currently takes to make. I can make a locker. A little bit of lag there. Don't fall asleep. Pull that all night. I need one more. I get. I get one more titanium for one more locker. Actually, I'm heading back to the other base anyway to transfer stuff over, so. Let me actually deposit what I have into one of these lockers to clear up as much space as I can. Obviously, I'll be getting most of that back out, but and at some point I'll rearrange this, but for the time being, I'm just moving stuff over to this base before I Right, Steve? Yeah? Cute kitty? What's she doing? like though uh, the first sometimes I'll accidentally mute my stream and forget to unmute for a few minutes there so I know what that's like there was this one time where I was chatting with a group of friends while playing Minecraft together and I was muted for the entire time and I thought I was just being ignored so I can relate I know of similar situations. Yeah. I'm just gonna drop these. This is really. I'll just leave them there. Aw, oh, so close. So close to everything. Uh, can I leave? I can leave a little bit. I'll leave behind cave sulfur, which I don't think I need much of. A little bit. Go stack. I'll leave behind that. Yeah, quietness getting to you. 
I understand that as well. I don't have a beacon over there. Where's my base again? It's in this direction. I know that there are beacons in this game, I just haven't learned how to make one yet. this. Let me just get out. Oh, I can't scan that. Um, I was going to scan that for a little bit more titanium, but it looks like I just need to get some metal salvage. Or check that. Where's the titanium? That my inventory is too full for it. Uh, they're little floaty beacons in the water. So you see how you have a beacon for the life pod, beacon for that? They're little floaty beacons that you can place around wherever you want. And they have similar icons. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hang that up, actually. And then that can go right here. Why not? Yeah! A prawn suit, which is something I'll get eventually. Um, but for the time being, this feels like a pretty good place to wrap up because I have a base now. I'll do inventory sorting later. I'll make more lockers, add stuff. You actually get back out the stuff I actually need to have on me, including a couple of spare of spare battery. Where's my inventory? Do I have a piece of titanium? Um, one, three, four, five. Let me go repair my seamal. Give me that last 2%. There we go. Alrighty. There we go. I feel like we make some good progress today. We saw the Sunbeam event. We explored the cave, found evidence of the Degrassi, first people who came to this planet. Uh, we, which we'll expand upon later. And... We explored the Aurora, which I need to go back and do again. Um, yeah, we saw Reaper a couple of times. But yeah, that went pretty well. Died a couple times, but only to oxygen, not to creatures killing us. That was just me being foolish instead of the game being mean. But yeah, I think that went pretty well. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. I enjoyed hanging out with everyone today. I think it went pretty well. Uh, I'll be back on Monday with Hollow Knight. Just to switch things up, since I did some Sonata and Sonatica today, I'm going to do Hollow Knight on Monday, followed by more Sonatica on Tuesday. Uh, I have played not much of Hollow Knight. I am not good at it. And... It's a game that I really want to like, so I'm going to try it on stream, try it again, see if I can get better at it, start it over, have some fun with it, hang out with y'all, and yeah, that's the plan, that's the idea. And for the time being, I hope y'all have your day, or for you, Safi, I hope you have a good rest of your night, good luck staying awake, maybe you could put on some music, some other videos, anything like that. And yeah, good one, thanks for hanging out.
I'll catch you next time.